Hey everybody, JC here with another TNI toy review. And today's review is in association with MarvelousNews.com, your number one news source for everything Marvel. And for today's review, I'm going to be taking a look at the brand new SH Figure Art 6 inch Captain America Civil War Black Panther figure from Tomasi Nations and Bandai. Now this figure comes in a little bit different looking packaging than what we've been seeing with the SH Figure Arts Marvel figures. First of all, we get a brown mailer box with this one. And then when you open that up, you get this. And on the front, instead of a window box like we normally see, we just get an image of the figure. Off to the side, we have the name. And then down below, we have the Captain America Civil War movie logo. On one side of the packaging, we have again an image of the figure. On the other side, it says Team Iron Man and has the Black Panther name. And then on the back of the packaging, we have more images of the figure showing off the various poses and accessories that come with it. And then down below, a bunch of writing I really can't read. All right, let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figure outside the packaging along with the other contents. Now, first of all, you do get a little instruction sheet that shows you how to switch out the hands and everything. We get three different pairs of hands with this figure. We get a pair of closed fisted hands. Those are the ones that are attached to the figure when you first take it out of the packaging. Then we get a pair of clawing hands. The fingers are out and it looks like he's about to claw somebody's eyes out with those. And then we just get a pair of normal open hands. Now both the normal open hands and the clawing hands, you'll notice on the fingertips you've got little uh, points on the ends and that's supposed to be his claws. I have to say I'm a little disappointed with all three pairs of hands. There's no silver high highlights it all on the hands and the claws are just black you can hardly notice them you really have to look up close to even see the claws I think they should have given us a pair of hands with the claws full extended and those should be silver the tips of his claws should be silver and then there should be more silver highlights on the gloves period and then a, just a pair of normal hands without the claws extended I think would have been better so switching out the hands is easy you just pull off the hand you want to replace and you've got the little ball peg there and then you want to just pop on the hand you want to replace it with that ball peg can move a little bit on you but it's pretty easy and it should pop on there and fit nice and tight so for the figure itself, I think Tomasi Nations has done a pretty nice job with the sculpting detail on this figure. I like the head sculpt. I like the detailing with the ears and all the texturing on the mask. I think that looks good. I like the silver highlights. That seems to be pretty movie accurate. He's got the silver eyes, so I think that looks good. My only minor complaint with the head sculpt, and it's not really an inaccuracy, because if you look at the mask in the movie, it does have these little holes that go over the mouth there. But I don't think they stand out as much as they do on this figure. I kind of like it better how they did it with the Marvel Legends one where they actually left those holes off so it looks more smooth. So even though that's not quite movie accurate, I think it looks more movie accurate if that makes sense. So again, that's just a minor complaint, but that's really the only complaint I have as far as the head sculpt goes. Otherwise, I think it looks good. I like the necklace, and the necklace is actually a little more movie accurate than the Marvel Legends one. This piece that comes down doesn't, it in the movie, it doesn't come down that far on his chest. So it's a little more accurate on, on this figure. And then again, I like the texturing throughout the costume with this. You've got this little uh, textured pattern throughout the figure, which I think looks good. And then you've got the silver highlights. So I think that all looks good on the back as well. So it looks pretty movie accurate to me. And again, silver highlights here on the midsection. But mostly I just like that texturing that you see throughout the entire figure. So this figure stands, if you count to the tip of his ears, just a little bit over six and a quarter inches tall. Here's a comparison with the six inch Marvel Legends version. And like normal, the Marvel Legends figure is a little bit taller, though not too much. These two are pretty close to the same height. Okay, and here's a comparison with some Team Iron Man figures. So we've got the SH figure, it's Age of Ultron, Black Widow, War Machine, and then the Civil War Iron Man, and you'll notice I've got my Tony Stark head from the Tony Stark figure on there. And I would say the scale between these is pretty good. Maybe Black Panther is a little bit on the tall side. I don't know, either that or Iron Man and War Machine are a little bit on the short side. Here's a comparison with some Team Cap members. So we've got the Civil War Captain America and the Civil War Ant-Man. And then finally, just for one more comparison, a couple other Avenger members. So the SH figure, it's Age of Ultron Thor and Age of Ultron Hulk. 
Now, just in case if you were wondering, you can take that Marvel Legends alternate unmasked Black Panther head and you can stick it on this figure. It's not going to stay on there tight. The ball is too small, but you can actually sit it on there and it actually size wise seems to work pretty well. So you have pretty good articulation with this figure. You can turn the head to the left and to the right. Now the entire neck moves. You get movement at the bottom of the neck and the top of the neck. So he can look down good and he can look up pretty good. And then you also get movement to the left and the right with the neck. So good, good pivot movement there with the head. Arms attached with your standard ball hinge joint at the shoulder. So you can get his arm out good. And then you can pull that ball joint out from the socket. So it gives you more movement. So again, you can get the arm out good and you've got good rotation. Rotation. He also has a butterfly joint so you can get good back and forth movement there So he can really almost get his arms all the way across his chest. So again good movement there He has uh, does not have a bicep swivel per se But again you get some rotation there with that ball joint up high He doesn't really have a true double hinged elbow, but still has good bending there at the elbow And then he's got swivels at the glove cuff and then he's got hinges on the hands with those little ball joints So depending on how you you turn that you've got either forward and back or up or down movement with the hands and you've also got rotation with the wrists he's got a midsection joints just attached with the ball joint so you've got rotation there and then you can also pivot it to the left and to the right and he's got a bit of a crunch there you can crunch down about that much and then he can look back about that much as well then you also get a waist type joint again with a ball joint so you've got some more rotation there at the waist and you've got a little bit of forward movement there and a little bit of back movement there at the waist as well the legs are attached with ball joints and again you can pull the legs down out from the socket so that gives you more movement so he can get his leg up high and he can do his leg back he can only do the splits about that much and then he does not have a true thigh swivel but again with that ball joint up high you've got some rotation there and then he's got a double hinge knee so he can bend his knee about that much and then with the foot it's attached with the ball joint so you've got some up and down movement with the foot a little bit of pivot but I wouldn't call it true ankle pivot and then he's got rotation there at the foot as well he also has toe articulation and no peg holes on the bottom of the feet Okay, so that's my review. So overall, I think this is a pretty nice figure. I like the detailing with the sculpting on the figure. My biggest complaint comes with the hands. I definitely would have liked to have seen some hands with some more predominant looking claws on it with some silver highlights and everything. But other than that, I think it's a pretty nice figure. Now, the only other downside to this figure is it is a little bit costly. It's going to cost you probably in the neighborhood of $70 to $80. It is an imported figure. So when you're comparing it to something like the Marvel Legends figure, I'm not sure this figure is that much better than the Marvel Legends that it's worth the increased price. That's really something you'll have to decide for yourself. So this figure is out overseas now, so you can pick it up at places that carry imported figures. We'll have a full image gallery up at MarvelousNews.com. There'll be a link in the video description below. As always, leave a comment. Let us know what you think. If you're so inclined, please like the video. Also, if you haven't already, please follow me on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. I'll have links to those in the video description as well. And until next time, I'll catch you later.